The single plane golf swing of Mo Norman is non-rotational on the trail side of the body. Just like you strike a hammer with a nail, today I'm going to demonstrate for you how the single plane swing is just like hammering a nail. to my channel today, we're going to discuss how a simple hammer can demonstrate how we can simplify the golf swing just like the single plane. But I want to kind of go through exactly what we mean by the non-rotational element of the trail hand. Now, um, the trail side of the body. Now, you know there's a lot to this, uh, but I want to keep it pretty simple today. I want to demonstrate how a golf swing and, and hitting a golf ball is very similar to the motion you would make if you're gonna hammer something or hammer a nail. Obviously, there's more speed involved in a golf swing, but as far as arm motion and how the hands, how the hands are oriented and how the hands work, you can be easily demonstrated with this hammer. So as you see, you know, if I hammer this direction, obviously that is not the direction you would hit a golf ball. You'd actually hammer in this direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hammer, and you can see it has a, a square leading edge on here. There's leading edge, and I'm gonna place a golf club into the hammer, make it tight here so I can get it to orient correctly. So I'm going to orient the leading edge of the club with the edge of the hammer. Now, let's, let's not even talk trail hand for a second and let's talk lead hand. So I'm going to grab the, the lead hand in line and you can see when I grab the hammer with the lead hand, there's my lead hand alignment. The back of the hand is pretty much lining up with that face, right? Back of the arm to the, the face. To the leading edge. So there's my lead arm alignment. That's how I would hold that hammer if I wanted to hammer something in this direction, right? Now, so there's my lead arm alignment. Now, I'm going to bring my trail arm in, and you're going to see when I, I'm going to hold the hammer just like this, you can see that I can actually put this trail hand in a position where I can now make this hand go back straight back and straight down in a non rotational fashion just like I'm hammering a nail. See that? So now I'm hammering with this trail hand in the direction I would hit a golf ball. There's the motion. Now what I want you to watch though is I want you to watch club face orientation. Since you see the club is lined up with the edge of the hammer and I'm going to go into kind of an address position here like I'm holding a long golf club. And then if you, if you see what happens here, look what happens to the, the head of the club. And then notice the, the hinging of the arm and the hand. Put that club face on this plane here. So there's my original orientation. So what I'm getting at is you don't want the hammer to be facing the sky at the top. It's because this arm hinges this direction. There's that hammering motion. There's the non-rotational motion of the hand. And now you get this nice up and down motion of hammering a nail which is basically completely non-rotational of this trail arm. See, that's what it's doing there. As long as you orient this arm correctly and this hand correctly, you get, and the tilt of the body gives you the orientation of a non-rotational movement of the body. So this just demonstrates that a hammer can easily demonstrate the ideal motion of the golf swing. And you can see orientation of face plane as well. If you look at how the, it's kind of turning on me a little bit, you can kind of see how the face is planing in orientation of the hammer. So let's demonstrate that with a golf club now. This is just a seven iron. And now I can grab a golf club in the exact same fashion. So once again, I grab a golf club in the exact same fashion. It's just a long hammer. Make sure that this hand is oriented correctly. And now you can see that it's the same exact motion and orientation to strike a golf ball, right? So as long as my arm is in a position where it can hammer, that's the body tilt, I can easily demonstrate how a simple little hammer shows you correct orientation of hitting a golf ball in a non-rotational fashion. Now, here's where you run into problems. And you see that there's elements to this. You saw there's elements to how I actually established my address position. You saw that it, what, I didn't grab the hammer like this, for example. 
I didn't take the hammer and put it straight down like this and then put this arm on top because that's going to create a rotation. This is what traditional golf generally does. They have you just grab the hammer like this where this arm is hanging straight down, creating an angle. And now you have to deal with this angle in some fashion rotationally. The average tour player has 13 degrees of trail hand rotation from address to impact. And it's going like this. It's going from here to there. So it's rotating this direction throughout the motion. So this is a way to simplify the actual motion, but you have to get this body position correct. You have to get in a hammering position. So one of the ways you can think about that is, is if you were going to hammer an object, so if I was going to take this object right here, right, and I was going to hammer that in the direction of a target, you would tilt the body and see so you would hammer like this. See how my body is tilted? So in other words, I'm tilted this direction. So you have to get the left side higher than the trail side. There's that tilt to be able to hammer in that direction. So now when I grab the hammer, it makes more sense to you that I have this arm higher than this arm. And now I can easily do this to hammer a golf ball. So that's what's going on with the non-rotational aspect of the single plane. So much of it has to do with how I orient my body at a dress and place the, the arm position correct which then simplifies this movement back and down. And so you get this up and down motion, up and down, which is kind of like that pendulum we talked about, where there's just not, you don't feel a lot of rotation in the trail side because it's really going from this hammering position up, down, and then you stay down and release it. So I'm just kind of demonstrating for you that a golf club is simply just a long hammer. Orient your body correctly, orient your hand position correctly, get your tilt correct, and you can learn the up and down motion of what we call straight line single plane motion and swing the club just like it's a hammer.